Hello and welcome back. This is now our 17 of Garbage Day. <laughs> um, uh, we've got uh, a whole bunch of fun stuff for us. Uh, let's see. We are looking at the Transformers kink meme. Um, and uh, I will be your host for this hour. We've also got uh, Bunny. Wait, no, we don't know. Uh, no, we've got we uh, <laughs> we've got Zarla. Yep. Um, we we'll have got uh, <laughs> Jack Chick, we've got Kumquas Up, we've got Nutshell Gulag, and Good of, morning. Course, <laughs> of course, uh, we've got Victor Laszlo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, I think most importantly, we have Transformers kink meme. That's <laughs> most importantly, we do have Transformers kink meme. That's uh, that's very exciting news. That's what um, we all need to hold in our hearts. Uh, before we... Uh, <laughs> Or we get too far. When times are hard, we need to remember. <laughs> just, I know it's tough, but you can pull through this. Just, just think of Transformers kink meme. <laughs> That's what it's there for, for you, <laughs> <laughs> for all of us, Zarla. Yes. Uh, before we get uh, too far into it, I just, uh, uh, as uh, I think, I think most people know, um, we are giving away brand new fetishes on <laughs> two top donators of every half hour. Um, but uh, I don't know how much uh, you, the listener, might know about uh, Kumquasa. But uh, one thing um, that's um, uh, very uh, distinct about uh, Kumquat's op is that um, he's got a peculiar, or not, sorry, peculiar is not the right word. Peculiar, he's got a distinct fashion sense. <laughs> it is a distinct fashion sense that he showed off uh, at the most recent F Plus Live. <laughs> Um, and, uh, uh, come quats up, uh, you are giving away what? what? What are you giving away this hour? A hat. <laughs> can you tell, what can you tell me about the hat? It's a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> More intriguing. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you had me at hat, but no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, okay, all right. Well, here we go. Uh, how much? Uh, how much uh, should somebody donate for this hat? <laughs> also a mystery. No, uh, obviously, uh, the first person to donate sixty nine dollars or more. Okay, <laughs> great. All right, will get a mystery hat. It's a hat that's a mystery. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm putting that. Uh, I'm putting that up on. Uh, I'm putting that up on the board. Uh, the first person to donate uh, sixty nine dollars or more will get a hat from Cumberland. <laughs> and as we've learned, it's a mystery. <laughs> so that's very exciting. Um, uh, but anyway, we're going to be looking at uh, even more than meets the eye. Uh, Transformers <laughs> porn request source from the Transformers kink meme. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 it says kink meme, aka where all F plus episodes converge. <laughs> um, this was a document provided to us by Linda. And, uh, Thanks, Linda. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> um and uh yeah so uh adam bozart there on the stream um doing some uh very very sexy uh transformers drawings i assume <laughs> um but uh why does that transformer you... have a clown nose <laughs> <laughs> oh honey. oh honey. <laughs> Zarla, could you start us off uh with uh the first uh the first what do you want to say prompt i guess prompt Mm, let's see. The first, or there's a lot of terminology. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so okay. that's the terminology. We got sister deer there. All right. So it's under Megatron is thirsty. The, all right. Uh, or... That wasn't where I was looking, but sure, oh. let's take that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. So anonymous, just an idea that might be fun slash pervy to write. Megatron has come down with some sort of nanovirus. And has an insatiable thirst. You heard me. Thirst for transmetal fluid. <laughs> Not particular on continuity. G1, TFA, Bayverse, whatever floats your pervy boat, or partners, quotation mark. Mm. But there must be more than one. Mm. Mex <laughs> this is a terrible riddle. Mex can either enjoy or be weirded out. Your choice. Please, let's have Megatron suck some spike. Wow, being anonymous makes me vulgar. Mm. Oh, boy. 
<laughs> oh boy. Um, and then the uh, very next one down, uh, uh, Jack Chick, if you'll take Untitled in brackets. Well, Lemon, I like a good transformer and heat story as much as the next pervert, but how about importing a different animal mating behavior? Like, how about it? How about I'd, it? I'd like to see a transformer lek link to a Wikipedia article. Every vormit deca cycle. I'm gonna look at it. I don't, know what yeah, I don't know what a lek is Anyways, either. All the single transformers of a given subgroup get together and strut their stuff, and other transformers come by and choose mates. I'm not particular who's in the lek. Seekers, cars, triple changers, minibots, insecticons, whoever you'd like to write about being sexy. The example um, is Sage Grouse. <laughs> you a transformer with, like, inflatable balloons on its chest. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, by the way, uh, our uh, mystery hat has already been claimed. <laughs> uh, there's one thing we know for sure about Shell Game, and that's that she wants that hat. <laughs> <laughs> Shell Game wants that hat. Uh, the uh, donation comment uh, is, hey, just making sure, have my money, hat. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you, and uh, come close up. We'll be providing you a mystery hat. It's a hat, and it's a mystery. Nutshell, uh, you got the next one there. Oh god. Uh, okay. Um, ah. I'm seeing kinks everywhere. Yeah, you're seeing everywhere. kinks everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, so Please. this and on went to a concert a couple nights ago. Won't say who's. This is a tad bit embarrassing. Uh, oh, whoa. <laughs> uh, during the show, they sprayed the audience with fire retardant foam. Oh, so it was an offspring concert. Um, <laughs> like a stupid, over-obsessed dork, my thir first thought was, OMG, Inferno is spraying people. My second slightly horrified thought was, OMG, with what? Hmm. Signs you've been hanging around the kink meme a little bit too much. Example one. So mm. I actually feel a bit silly because Bukake is actually one of the only two squicks I have. It was, at least, until I got into a rather heated image of Inferno coming all over red alert during song title omitted to prevent people from learning a non guilty pleasure band. So the kids aren't all right. Um, <laughs> now I want some, badly. If a uh, potential non-writer does not like sticky smack things, uh, using actual fire retardant foam is absolutely A-OK -okay in my Dirty Girl book. I am also willing to write a return fic for whoever is kind enough to fulfill my latest dirty need. Oh, good. I'm so back. I'm so glad and, the stream is back. Oh, uh, I was wrong. <laughs> I transformed with giant Janice Jets. Brothers concert. <laughs> 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 no, it's a sage grouse transformer. Looking good. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, I'm looking for I'm looking for Rumble Star Scream size difference with a slight twist. Background info, almost all Cybertronians possess both a spike and a valve, whether mech or femme. In a few rare cases, and through no faults of their own, there are a few mechs and or femmes that only possess one or the other. Um, in cases where a Cybertronian, oh, sorry, in the cases where a Cybertronian possesses just a spike, they tend to take relatively longer to reach overload than mechs or femmes, and generally wind up exhausting their partners. Needless to say, Christ. this doesn't lead to a lot of repeat lovers so the spike only types either settle for a string of one night stands that's victims that's not a one night stand <laughs> or takes matters into their own hands most of the time in cases where a cybertronian possesses just a valve they can achieve achieve multiple overloads eh, 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 within the same interfacing session eh, eh, eh. hell this literally is nudging you right in the, the ribs furries. right in the ribs <laughs> <laughs> uh, but can all be almost too sensitive. Many times, even what they would consider an average size spike is almost too large and causes too much pain for the valve-only types to really enjoy it. For this reason, they opt for self-service many times as they know their own personal limits. So if you were ever wondering if you could have a robot version of Omegaverse, 
Now you know the answer. I wasn't wondering that. Of course I knew the answer to that. <laughs> hey guys, a uh, pervert, but more? Oh yeah, okay, interesting, interesting. <laughs> Oh, they're, they're robots. That's not going to stop me. Take my findings back. Uh, here's the prompt. Rumble, unfortunately, is formatted as Spike only. The other Cassetticons... <laughs> mm, great. <laughs> generally aren't unwilling to interface with him. Other minis will give him a one-off and be done with him. And the larger mechs claim he doesn't have near enough to satisfy them. In frustration, he turns up the pranking level when he gets too horny and picks a different target each time. On the other extreme, Starscream was formatted as valve only his sensitivity level is so extreme that even his fellow seeker spikes are too large for his comfort and or pleasure and he has the tendency to wander off sometimes to get himself off from time to time i don't want to hear star scream sex noises I like formatted as valve only. I like picturing like there's a little switch on his back and you flip it like with the old like floppy disks, you know, <laughs> switch to read only. Oh, I was just imagining the uh, the old valve logo like on the back of their heads. <laughs> 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 During one of his foods, Rumble decides to make the SIC at the target for his latest prank and follows him to figure out the best time to strike would be. He accidentally discovers Starscream's similar yet opposite problem, and rather than pull a prank, takes the risk of ex proposing that they <laughs> help each other out. Okay, here's the case. Oh. Size different that actually makes things more enjoyable for both parties involved. Rumble Spike is just the right size for Starscream to get off and not be in any pain from it. Also, multiple orgasms. Also, dirty talk. Also, sticky, obviously. Also, mm. anything else author Anon wants to throw in. <laughs> As a bonus, a security camera in the area just happens to be on and broadcast the evening to the security room. Whoever is on duty gets off on watching them. Double bonus if it's sound wave. Triple bonus if he goes and jumps Megatron immediately after the viewing. Yeah! <laughs> My boner is fucking weird. <laughs> I need more robots, more robots. So, um, so Lemon, real quick, before we go on, yeah. um, Victor provided us with a, a glossary in uh, in the Discord. Uh, Victor provided us a glossary, huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so where am I seeing this? What? In, in the Discord? In the, in the Discord chat? Nope. Oh, I, Brady? I, <laughs> nope. I see it. Nope. All right. Well, would you like me to read it since you can't see it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that sounds great. Yep. Absolutely. Great. All right. So, so that we're all on the same page here. Sticky is mechs with human-like genitalia, plug and play, basically more technological or mechanical forms of sex, data or energy transfer through cords, or like what you'd plug into your computer, heavy petting of the internal gears and cables that make up a transformer's body, etc. Note, gear slash cable fondling is also called tactile. <laughs> Spark sex is merging or rubbing of energy cores. <laughs> Dubcon, dubious consent. Uh, oh, yeah, well. Noncon is that. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, what's G1? Uh, that's Generation 1, the original toy line and corresponding 80s cartoon. And uh, TFA? That's Transformers Animated. Toy line slash cartoon began in 2008. What's and, the Bayverse? <laughs> well, that would be the Michael Bay films. <laughs> Good, cool. Uh, uh, come quads off. Tell me an erotic story of prostitution, won't you? Um, uh, <laughs> what, uh, what? Why did you shudder at that? I don't oh, understand. Uh, everyone slash mirage. Oh, that, that's boy. the one. That's that's the one that's erotic. Yeah, it certainly yeah. is erotic. Yep, you're right. Yeah. Um. <laughs> well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For most. Cybertronians. The standard equipment is a valve for fems and a spike slash cord for mechs. In the towers, however, well, there were a lot of things money could buy, and no one saw any problem altering themselves to 
double their pleasure, so, so to speak. To speak. <laughs> oh, how did I know that was coming? <laughs> <laughs> I, I did indeed spake it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, most towers residents had both sets of equipment. Needless to say, Mirage is very popular on the Ark, being the only bot there with a valve, to the point that now he's kind of the Autobot's whore. Mm. Of course, he's a well-cared-for whore. <laughs> Oh, good, good. It's the fucking pretty woman of Transformers. <laughs> he gets weekly checkups from Ratchet to make sure he's healthy and is even spoiled by his friends for being a, such a good sport about servicing all of them on a regular basis. He's well cared for. He goes to the mechanic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's his yeah, oil the more you need, Lemon. <laughs> And of course, he still has rights. The no means no rule still applies. And if he's too hurt to interface, no one is allowed to interface him. He can end his <laughs> prostitution tenure at any time. <laughs> well, for any reason. Many live in fear of the day Mirage might get tired of the attention or falls in love and dedicates himself to a single mech. He's oh so sought after. Everyone's even assigned turns for when they can have him. Robot sex lottery! <laughs> These turns are even sometimes used as bartering items or the winnings of bets. Mirage enjoys all of this, though. He cares for his friends. He likes Interface. And he loves the attention and being treated so well. And he gets to experience so many different kinds of Interface. His tender lovers, like Prime and Hound. His sweet lovers, like Bumblebee and blue streak his <laughs> wild lovers like the twins his kinky lovers like prowl and jazz and whatever else yep he's got it made i mean i'm seeing adam drawing this uh well-kept for whore and uh <laughs> Doesn't look particularly happy. <laughs> I saw somebody excited to go work the track right there. <laughs> so that so is a beautiful is a, shade of lipstick, though. Yeah. This is a writing prompt, right? So this is like, hey, write this story. By the way, here's literally all of the details of the story. Yep. There's uh, a note at the beginning that says all of these prompts got filled. By the way, so somebody yeah. did write this story. That, this oh, is man. how kink me works. Uh. <laughs> Bonuses. I know you wanted bonuses. I should say functions, not works. <laughs> Whenever Ratchet retightens Mirage's valve, he's always the first to enjoy it. Mirage carries. What is a valve retightening? <laughs> I, I think it's when they start making games again. <laughs> 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 Mirage carrying on a conversation and being bent over in the middle of it and fucked over a table while still carrying on the conversation. Prison oh, role playing <laughs> with Jazz and Prowl in the brig. Mirage is the prisoner, of course. Hound being Mirage's favorite lover. What can I say? They're my OTP. Decepticons <laughs> getting an optic full. Oh, very nice. Meeting as they <laughs> look over some captured footage of the Ark. 
great. Wow, that that's those are fun <laughs> bonuses. So so to speak. It's fun bonuses. Mm -hmm. This one actually comes with a drawing too, which is very exciting. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Oh man, uh, that was a great prompt. That's a great prompt. Uh, Jack Chick, you've got a prompt as well. What's that? Damn you, like you internet, for making me twist wholesome things into dirty, dirty smut. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's a part of me that agrees with you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. <laughs> the Decepticons are hungry, starving, crazy with the need for food. They've been running on near empty for eons now. All of their energy on going towards restoring Cybertron. Actually, it's going straight into Megatron and Shockwave's bellies. One, or maybe more, of the Decepticons is slash R captured by the Autobots. The Autobots, meanwhile, are celebrating a holiday. Any even made up one, I don't care, it's whatever, it's not a victory, that idea's been done too much. And one Autobot <laughs> has brought their holiday food into the brig. That's right. Food porn. <laughs> Good. Good. The Decepticon, or perhaps Decepticons? Get off on watching the Autobot eat! Extra bonus points on the Autobot are describing exactly what eating the food is like. Taste, texture, how filling it is. Get creative. Super awesome, I love you forever bonus. Oh, if you want to get all plotty and hurt slash comfort you, with it. Love me forever. <laughs> which I would love, have the Autobot hand feed the Decepticons. <laughs> you okay there, Lemon? <laughs> Once the Decons are fed, they become very tame. And after a few more meals, even join the Autobots. <laughs> So one Transformers eat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, but what do they eat? Like, I didn't watch the show. Like, do they eat? Gasly, I assume? I like, I, I was picturing, like, wires or, like, computer chips. I don't know. Energon um, cubes? So, uh, yeah, I don't know if they eat the cubes. I thought they, like, plug them in. Maybe, maybe they do eat them. So, uh, so Zarla, uh, can you take Oh Ghosty might be a challenge? Mm. Just a uh, bit down there. Oh Ghosty. Oh Ghosty. Might be oh Ghosty might be a challenge. <clears throat> horrible title. It's horrible, but makes me giggle. This idea may have been brought up to death, but I have a twist on it. Backstory. TFA post end game. Prowl had sacrificed his spark to the All Spark to save Detroit and his friends. But his spark was never fully dissipated. Indeed, his final act of removing Optimus Prime from danger left a large chunk of his spark in the boss spot. Backstory ends. Okay. Optimus, okay. now Badness, is suddenly getting strange, well, sensory messages. He's been having daydreams about things he never thought he would in a million stellar cycles think about. This includes nature, meditating, circuit Sue, and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my name Circuit Sue! <laughs> Like, like, what is that? It's like Feng Shui. Is what is that? <laughs> Kung Fu. Like, what? What is that supposed to be? Like maybe ninjutsu. <laughs> ninjutsu or kitsu? Maybe. Uh, but certain bots, specifically, he's getting dream. He's getting daydreams about jazz, lockdown, and I would love you forever for this. Oil slick. They are oddly oh, memory like. Yeah, those are the sexiest Autobots. <laughs> <laughs> and some of them are extremely raunchy or kinky, and he has no idea where these memories are coming from. Regardless, when he gets them, he does get quite worked up over them. At one point, he ends has he has ends up interfacing with Jazz too. Still not sure why he wants to. Play. <laughs> Who cares about that? Interfacing with bitches. <laughs> it's all I do all day. Did well, <laughs> <laughs> I get, get more processors so I can keep interfacing with other people? Play, I just interface a lot. Big <laughs> 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 got really weird. <laughs> 
towards the end of his career. (laughs) (laughs) Along with that, the dreams and urges lead him to need to alleviate that stress he's built up. Thus, he ends up wanting, needing to masturbate a lot more than he ever did before. Well, with the extra pressure on his spark also, of course. Uh, Towards the end, one episode of Memories causes him to possibly overload in a meeting crowded area. Alice the board and thinks something's definitely wrong. Oh, Primus Optimus is dying. Get a doctor. Uh, diagnosis leads him to find a second matured spark in his chamber. Guess who? Smiley face. Um, I don't want to. I don't. Pairings. Want to. Optimus Jazz for the sake of solid smut. Somewhat yeah. Optimus Prowl. Prowl Jazz. Locked up Prowl. Prowl Oil Slick. Optional, but I love you forever for this. Uh, let's see. Kinks in the plot. Experiencing another mech's feelings and lusts. Uh, masturbation, wet dreams, combination of spark play and sticky, preferably. Really up to the author how to go about this. Spark play with Prowl Spark and Optimus's chamber leading to strange feelings. Sticky because I like it for the smuttiness. Mm-hmm. Some dirty fun if you elaborate on LD Prowl or Prowl OS because those pairs would definitely be kinky. It's up to the author. No non con. Dub con, all right, with LD. <laughs> I guess I like my favorite my favorite line from that uh is uh, just uh pairings optimus jazz for the sake of solid smut because like in this community we're like <laughs> yes obviously please use the two sexiest yeah. transformers <laughs> you know the two transformers we've agreed that are the sexiest well I mean I mean I don't know that there's that there's any real dispute over that have you seen them <laughs> I'll say that oh like a like a Optimus does it like a truck. I mean, I, I'm I'm just saying when I Yay! saw the original Transformers movie, no, uh, you, Drop Dead you. Legs played when Optimus Prime came on screen. <laughs> <laughs> this careless whisper starts when he pulls out like the USB cord out of his chest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nutshell, you've got something. Uh, by the way, uh, we uh, were in the light stuff for a while, but you know, it's Transformers. Who cares? Let's move into the heavy stuff. <laughs> Yay! Oh boy! It's Transformers. Who cares? It's fine. Maybe I'm sure it won't destroy us. Yeah, they're robots. I mean, how bad can it get? Right? Maybe <laughs> Striker slash Megatron, Femdom, and Preg. Sequel to the TFA Con threesome. Stryka decides the cons need more big, strong warriors, <laughs> warriors, <laughs> like warriors. her, <laughs> and love that. <laughs> and the ebbst way to get them <laughs> is to breed them. But she's too busy fighting to have sparklings. But Megatron spends all of his time on the Nemesis looking for the All Sparks. So Stryka decides the most sensible thing to do is for her tea. Impregnante, impregnante, Megatron, <laughs> impregnante, <laughs> Megatron. <laughs> Stryka goes to Megatron at night and orders him to submit to being fucked. <laughs> I Megatron is used to being dominated by Stryka and submits until she tells him to prepare himself for impregnation. Megatron protests verbally but is physically passive. He does not raise a finger to protect himself and whatever Stryka orders him to do, he does. It's still rape. Megatron argues that his narrow hips and tight port will make it very difficult for him to carry and bear Stryka's huge protoform, but Stryka tells him to sh- heim, he may, to <laughs> he shut may. up and take it like a man. Stryka oh, fucks Megatron very hard. His boy. cord has never gotten used to how huge her cord is, and she has to stretch him a lot before he can take her cord. Wait, how can you stretch a cord? What? <laughs> I, I don't know! <laughs> I don't know! It, it, the, the elastic something. When Strike has gotten Megatron all turned on and gagging for it, she orders him to beg her to impregnate him, and he does. Please? With lots of Megatron whimpering, squirming, and and protesting that Stryka is too big for him. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Uh, yeah, before we before we move on to the next section, uh, I'd like you to do me a favor, Jack Chick. Yes. Uh, Jack Chick, can you tell me about the pickles? But you tell me about the pickles that you make. Yeah, so uh, I make a variety of different um, types of pickles, and we, you, you, the, the listener, could win uh, a jar or two, or you know maybe more, uh, fresh made pickles from me, and that can be of any sort of vegetable. Um, so that's not just uh, 
you know, cucumber pickles if you're like fucking boring or something. But you know, you can get like <laughs> yeah. uh, actually some really good uh, pickled carrots with some uh, toasted coriander stuff like that. So all oh, right. So could someone uh, does someone uh, specify in their donation comment what kind of pickles they would like, or do they get a surprise pickle? Uh, I mean, we could go either or. I would love it if somebody wanted to do a surprise me pickle round. But all right. Uh, <laughs> if there's something okay. like you know, hey, I you know don't eat carrots, then. Like I'm allergic to this or that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, then in that case, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say for $25, uh, we're going to put up for uh, a little while here. Uh, we're going to put up some surprise me pickles. <laughs> um, so if you donate $25 or more, you can get some surprise me pickles made by uh, your man, Jack Chick. Um, so get those donations in. Let's get some more money for the Southern Poverty Law Center. And meanwhile, uh, I want to tell you about uh, inflation fetish. Is that all right? No. <laughs> nope. But that doesn't work. They're robots. I want to tell you about so, so so inflation fetish. So Sage Grouse Transformers again. <laughs> Is that all right? Is that all right with you? Is that all right? Sounds, sounds like a real gas. <laughs> <laughs> I've been fine with them this whole time. Really <laughs> fine. Um, I like puns. I have a weird request for you guys. The request? <laughs> Skywarp is a prankster, but sometimes his pranks turn bad and even turns against him. What if he had settled for something for Starscream? A very nasty and weird little prank, but Starscream discovers what he intends to do and manages and manage to lure him into his own trap. The thing can be a little device then, one star scream in Skywarp's mind, though, would sit in his bathtub for a wash next time, would unfold and slid its way into Hia port and give a cold shower. Bathing your robot seems like a bad idea. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I've got like a, I've got like a Moto 5X, and apparently it's waterproof, so I think it's mm. alright. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Starscream isn't a fool, and he learned what Skywarp intends to do. Then he lure him with seduction and sensuality <laughs> to share a bath with him, making the prankster forget about the little device he had himself and put in said bathtub. And indeed, Skywarp is caught in his own little trap, but. The device supposedly to only send a short and cold spray of water when entering the targeted mech's port jam somehow and he's trapped with the thing inside of him and continuously filling water in his valve and by extension uh, gestation chamber making him literally inflate after a short while why would a robot need a gestation chamber yeah, i have a lot of questions <laughs> to, to procreate to procreate, that's why the robot would have a, a lot of, no, a lot yeah, of course by mistake. <laughs> Starscream is shocked and pabnik at first that <laughs> he didn't intend to do that to his trine mate, but he found the dark seeker's moans, ridding, and plays quite <laughs> arousing after a mom net. <laughs> 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 interface him hard while still having his thing inside of him and is still fitting him with water. The kinks, I'm sure this will be a surprise, but here are the kinks. Um, uh, so there's inflation, obviously, and there's not enough of those in the TS universe. Right. XD! <laughs> all of you. I mean, what the fuck? Like, we're supposed to have a community. <laughs> No inflation. Really underserved. <laughs> We're treated like second class citizens. <laughs> okay, also, uh, humiliation, slight pain, nothing too much, please. Uh, also, Dubcon, uh, turning to full consensual as Skywarps finally love the feeling and beg for more. Also, bonus if they decides to do it again in a regular basis. I hope someone picks it up. I know it's weird. <laughs> And uh, come quest up, you've got the response there. The... RE inflation fetish. Uh, you've got two uh, customers for your pickle so far, Jack Chick. Oh, awesome. Uh, the, the first first results there? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tempted, seriously, by this kink. But I'm really confused by the inflation thing. <laughs> like, his whole body swells up or just as gestation chamber 
or what? <laughs> I just, I feel like this person could have used Google to search, what does inflation fetish look like? <laughs> <laughs> Shit's gross. I might get ostracized from my community. <laughs> I'm new here. What are we talking about? <laughs> I, what is this? Can you tell? How do I discover fetishes on the internet? Wait a minute, you guys jerk off to Transformers? Ew! <laughs> They're robots. <laughs> Don't you know that? The robots How does this in... affect the robots' disguise? Or... <laughs> <laughs> the robots in these guys. <laughs> Can you tell by looking at him from the outside it's going on or something? If you could clarify what you mean by that, I'd be glad to give it a shot. Because the image I have in my head, which is sort of like the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man with Skywarp's armor overlaid, is not very hot. <laughs> so, <laughs> Who? Not at all. Just as the station chamber is filled with water. And I would like if he just looked preggy at the end of this. Nothing more. I find it hot. The but whole Betty inflation will just looks weird. And duh, not hot. You would be able to see he's filling from the outside. But just as I sigh, just like a very preg a very fast pregnancy thing. Is it clearer? No. Nope. Don't go outside. Is it clear? <laughs> uh. Whoo. <laughs> For a while there, I thought you were a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Says the weirdo volunteering to write this fic. <laughs> yeah. That makes much more sense and is much less unhot. Than <laughs> it's less on my head. <laughs> <laughs> I can work with this level of unhot. Forever goal, less unhot. <laughs> Fantastic. Give me a week? Bad point in the semester. Definitely by Christmas. Now I feel like a weirdo for the whole Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man image. Ha, ha, ha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. We have fun here at the Kink Beam. We have fun <laughs> here. Uh, are you ready for the dark stuff? Um, uh, are you ready yes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Great. I can, okay, Jack Chick, then you're ready for the dark stuff. So here you go. Uh, this is called Can't Think of a Sexy Title. <laughs> <laughs> That's better than the stuff I'm seeing below it. So I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> There so isn't enough Mage Tron backslash Starscream in the world. Mm. So here's another kinky punishment one. Blushes horribly. Starscream fails yet again to kill Megatron, who decides to try something new since beating don't seem to work. Megatron Fire. is a special room made deep within the base just for his traitorous seeker. It's small and has restraints. Custom made. On the floor, they would immobilize a seeker with their aft in the air. After managing to get said seeker into the restraints, Megs uses some kind of clamp backslash bar to immobilize his wings as well, then pry apostrophe S star screams interface panel slash cod piece open and shoves a long thin vibrator into him and uses magnets to secure it in place. Mm. <laughs> Cunning. Very cunning. Oh, peace, magnets. <laughs> the vibrator is hooked up to a small tank of liquid, which it administers at regular 10-minute intervals. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> what the liquid does is a mixture of sensitizing and overload prevention. So basically, it's basically to keep its victim right on the edge. Megatron leaves Starscream in the room for about a day or however long you think it would take for him to learn his lesson. Starscream can't move at all, which certainly isn't helping his situation. Once Megatron comes back, I want to see a needy massive seeker beginning begging to be fucked. <laughs> Only Megatron will do no such thing. 
until oh. Starscream can convince him of undying loyalty or for a twist. Just thought of this. Starscream oh. is consorting with spying for the Autobots and has to give Megatron information. When Megatron finally screws him, Starscream's valve has absorbed so much of the liquid, Megatron can take him as many times as he pleases, and the Seeker would still be hot and ready, which would be good if he decides the Seeker would make a better pet than Air Commander. And, you know, then there's some kinks. Yeah, uh, Montreth uh, right there in the comments uh, says, uh, so these are the literal fucking magnets and we're about to finally learn how they work. <laughs> hey, Montreth. <laughs> oh, boy. And the, uh, the Twitch chat, uh, Denobner asks, what the hell are these bowels made of? <laughs> rubber I guess oh boy this is metal just, gear this is weird. <laughs> so, just, so weird I just with a valve I just picture like somebody like banging like a pipe inside of an air vent you know <laughs> <laughs> all right uh so uh so nutshell uh-huh. uh your topic is called why is it always slaves oh goody <laughs> oh boy why is it always slaves any continuity a tiny little mech somebody like g1 mirage or animated bumblebee or any femme other than strika is bought by a bigger mech oc preferred that anybody will do little mech thinks Shahi's getting a servant job like being a butler or a nanny <laughs> little mech is actually brought into a harem to be a sex slave little mech is not amused Little Mech proceeds to beat the ever-living shit out of Bigger Mech with his own sex toys in front of all his other slaves. The other slaves rush the Little Mech. Gratitude slash freedom orgy ensues. Bonus points for the Bigger Mech being beaten to death with a giant dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery groping. An epilogue where the Little Mech and another ex-sex slave are living a decently happy life together. And for ultimate point, bonus points, the little mech is Wheelie and the bigger mech is Megatron. Gives a new meaning to the term sexual revolution, doesn't it? Uh, no, no, I really don't think it does. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, come quest up, I found one uh, that I'm oh, really boy. excited to give to you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, Come cross up. Will you read that uh, that uh, sexy prompt, please? <laughs> Necrophilia, damn it! <laughs> Yay! Okay, okay. Uh, there are there are thirty plus pages in this old kink meme, and five pages here, and not one necrophilia prompt. <laughs> 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 word for that it's called interfacing (laughs) (laughs) oh man oh man (laughs) (laughs) do you want to read about vagina dentata (laughs) (laughs) what a wonderful phrase (laughs) vagina dentata what a wonderful phrase So as Autobots are wont to do, some of them get captured. 
Decepticons have a nice selection this time. One or two warrior builds and a mess of non-combatants. To keep the pervy cons away from the frail psyche non combatant Get out our, of here, pervy cons. <laughs> our warrior bot or two offer themselves up to the cons, really playing it up. Also, why do you want some geek when you could have this type of stuff? <laughs> so I'm picturing a Transformer trying to do like a hip bump. <laughs> <clears throat> the cons play along and soon they're hip deep in our poor selfless fighter's valve, which is booby trapped inside with deployable barbs. After the very gruesome end to that particular con and the subsequent rescue, one of the non-coms, non non com The non-coms. Co combatants, non-combatants. Oh, okay, can't yeah, get yeah. the trapped valve out of his mind. He's all the time wondering about it, wondering if a mech can feel a difference if it's looking for it, wondering if the fighter can partially deploy the barbs just enough for a different kind of interface. Finally, frustrated with his wandering mind, he decides to up and ask... <laughs> So, hey, I heard you're trying to kill people. <laughs> can you do that with me, but Man, not the killing just go part? Just over there and ask her. Just go over there and ask her, dude. I want that, but not the killing. Like, only, maybe kill me only a little bit. <laughs> References, any verse, sticky. I've got Sideswipe as the fighter, and for some reason, Red Alert is a non-com, but I'm up for pretty much anyone. I won't complain if the writer glosses over the sex or the death scene, or flashbacks it, but much love would be given if it's not. <laughs> um, Can I kill uh, my vagina a little bit? No, not at all. <laughs> um. Oh boy, so good. Uh. By the way, oh, uh, Galux. That is uh. That is the third pickle request. I'm gonna be taking down. I'm gonna be taking down the pickle prize uh, pretty soon. So if you want to get some pickles, uh, get in real, real, real soon. Uh, for <laughs> those pickles. Um. Uh, surprise pickles. So it's whatever Jack Chick decides to give you. Um. Uh, but first, I'm going to get, uh, you know, no, 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 I don't need to wait. Here, no, no, I don't need to wait at all. Here we go. Seekers! <laughs> Quite the title. Now it's a Thunderdome. Here's the kink. I want mm -hmm. trucks doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Just trucks. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in the totally wrong fandom. <laughs> Boy, have I got a music video for you? Why is trucks? He turned into robots. What is this? Yeah. Okay. No trucks with sports cars. Secrets or seekers or mini bots or nothing. Optimus Prime, banging Motormaster, <laughs> or Tailbreaker, That's or Sentinel Prime, or Magnus, or Ironhide, or whatever. I want big, <laughs> angular, and thick. <laughs> I got no prefs for continuity, sex style. <laughs> or extraneous kinks. <laughs> I just want trucks. <laughs> and I only want trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Damn seekers getting into all my good porn. <laughs> <laughs> Is it time? Is it time? Is it time? It's not quite time. Okay. Um, uh, before we get to that time, uh, nutshell, uh, second from the bottom, you've got uh, unexpected acquisition there. Oh, uh, all right. Okay. This is a little convoluted. In the animal world, stallions slash male group leaders will kill off the offsprings of rivals slash other stallions so that the female slash mare will come back into season again for them instead. Unrelated to that, I want trucks fucking! <laughs> Just trucks. <laughs> Trines, you know, are in separate groups of three. Nudge, nudge. Going off this, I would like to see some mech that is already heavily carrying accosted. The aggressor trying to get him to abort the sparkling, but is interrupted by the group leader. They tussle, and the aggressor is overpowered 
learning this, the mental switch is flipped. This group leader would be good sire and offers himself as a carrier. His pair then automatically go to the stronger mech. What? Uh, <laughs> okay. I, I'm going to need a diagram for that. Yeah. Kinks. Semi-forced pregnancy. Brief non-con that changes to consensual. Sticky. But, you know, whatever works easiest for you. Dominant slash claiming. It would be nice to see Starscream top for once. Or what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaning towards G1 or movie verses. I know. I'm twisted. Toes dirt shamefully. Oh. Really hopes someone will adopt this. I'm a widow stinker. <laughs> <laughs> Come close up. Come close up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. That's all. <laughs> okay. Harry oh, Potter goodness. Transformers crossover porn. Of course. Yay. <laughs> Stop that indeed. <laughs> I am a crossover junkie. Wizards' kind magic has always been a product of their ancestors' contact with the Allspark. But what if Harry was a Koizen friend to Sam instead of Sam carrying the Allspark? Harry does. When he carries it, some of its power makes him able to get pregnant by mechs and makes him immortal. He what? can still be killed, though. What? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hi. Uh, it's, Hi. Re it's really hard to do so. He only has a human form. I want this to be Harry Mechharam. That's his full name. Uh, that includes Decepticons, too. Only like five Decepticons. Yeah, yeah. That includes Barricade in a totally hot teenage form. I love his yeah. red eyes and his hair can be black, streaked, no! white. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Bumblebee belongs to Sam, though. No, I would love Optimus, Pr Prowl, and Jazz, as well as Ratchet, Sunstreaker, and Sideswipe to be in the harem. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a uh, total of 15 mechs must be in the harem. Uh, oh, yeah. Lemon oh, needed. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, want multiple Harry... Mpreg, what? What? I want multiple Harry Mpreg and Harry using his multiple, magic to multiple Harrys. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, like when they use the polyjuice potion I'm, to all look like Harry, and then le mm. lemon, mm. lemon. Yeah. That's yeah. not the weird part of that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you'll have to point. It, you'll have to point it out for me. I have yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Uh, uh, and, and and Harry using his magic to crush a mech's finger while giving birth. <laughs> this is Why very it... important to me, my yeah. boner. Why would it be there? What? <laughs> like just some random mech's finger? <laughs> like is he in labor and the mech's like, oh, I better stick my finger in there. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I think. Maybe it's like the whole thing where you're like holding somebody's hand while they're giving birth and they. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Maybe amplifying his voice too. Um, I also, I want all the mechs to faint when they hear the news. Oh, <laughs> they've got the vapors. Yeah, they'll need the <laughs> transformer smelling salts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've I've searched everywhere for Harry Potter Transformers crossover Yahweh, and most of them are on fanfiction.net, and <laughs> most of them haven't been updated for years. I'm running out of animes, books, <laughs> cartoons, and movies, fanfictions, and crossovers. I'm all out of animes. I'm so <laughs> lost without animes. <laughs> <laughs> need to jerk off. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, we don't. We we learn stuff. I'm sure we all learn stuff. Yeah. Um, um, in the uh, in the in the next hour, 
uh, things are um, uh, pretty close to this one. Um, we've got uh, we've got a battle coming up um, in the next hour. Um, a lot of the same readers. We're going to keep our Adam Bozarth around uh, for for more of these lovely drawings. Um, and uh, coming up next, we've got Colip Forcey. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> All right, Nutshell. Thanks for coming in. Colip Forcey. <laughs> 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 oh, go get yourself something to eat. I'll be right back. <laughs> and so will the rest of us. 